Hi there, everyone. I'm Matthew Bell, and this is the Contemporary Bowron. In this episode, we're going to cover playing a backbeat on the Bowron. Now, you may be asking yourself, what on earth is Matt talking about? Well, simply put, a backbeat is a kind of beat where the main emphasis is put on the upbeats rather than on the downbeats. Here's an example. One, and, two, and, one, and, two, and, one, and, two, and, and etc. This type of feel has roots in country music, where this kind of beat is often called a train beat. It also happens to work really well in giving a driving, propulsive kind of feel when used to accompany a reel. In this series of episodes, I'll show you a basic backbeat pattern at slow, medium, and then performance tempos. Then we'll add some tonal variation to the mix, and finally we'll top it all off with some embellishments. Let's get started right now. What you just heard was a short improvisation on a train or backbeat feel, using various kinds of tonal variation and then some also embellishments. Let's start with the basic train feel, which you're seeing the notation for to the right of my head. You'll also notice this is a basic real rhythm, but with the emphasis on the ands instead of on the downbeats. This gives that buoyant propulsive feel that we're looking for to really drive the tune with a forward kind of motion. Take a listen first and then feel free to play along with me. We'll do this at a slow, a medium, and then a performance tempo. As always, I suggest that you use a metronome to slowly gain control and eventually speed when working on any of these beats. I'd suggest inching the metronome up by no more than five beats a minute at a time. Make sure you're thoroughly comfortable at a given tempo before going any faster. Thanks so much for tuning in and stay tuned for the next episode.